how to create a floating button in Microsoft Excel that runs VV. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this advanced Excel tutorial, I'm going to create different buttons in Microsoft Excel that floats around with your selection. So most of the time we create a button in Excel and when I scroll down, the button disappears. But in this tutorial, I'm going to change this. Whenever I scroll down, the button disappears. That part is correct. But whenever I select any cell and the button reappears right beside the selection. Let's get started. I have created several videos using buttons and most of the time I created button with shapes and in this tutorial first I'm going to create a button with a shape and then I'm going to float that button with VVA code. So first create our button, click on insert, click on shape, click this one and so let's say this is our button and let's assume it has a VVA with it. So whenever I click this button a VVA code will run and I have created a lot of tutorials regarding that you can check them here and now whenever I scroll down you can see I'm clicking here but that button is not here it is here but whenever I scroll down whenever I click I want that button nearby so that I can click that button okay I don't need to scroll up to see and click that button so here we are going to create a event handler and we are going to write a code that will trigger whenever I change the selection by selection that means clicking a cell is a selection chain okay so our event handler will trigger whenever we click on a cell now right click on the shift tab and click on view code now remember the event handler always works inside a worksheet not in module so in sheet one we are writing the code so this is our code our code is ready and if i close the vve and if i click anywhere you can see the button move now if i scroll down we don't have button here and if i click here here is our button so this button is moving around with our selection and if you look at the vva code you can see the top position is offset zero so you can change the button position using this if you write here one and if you change here you can change the button position now you can see we have written this code active sheet shapes and here is the button name rectangle rounded corner one this is our shape name okay if you have different button with different shapes you will need to write the shape name here okay how do you know what is your shape name if you click on the button and you can see here the name box you can see rectangle cell one if i copy it from there and paste it here and you can see this is the shape name so you just copy that and then paste it inside your code in this position okay so this is how you can float a button that is made with shape now i'm going to show you how you can do the same thing with a common button i have created a lot of vivo with common button i'm going to show you how you can float your common button also first click on the developer tab if you don't have developer tab please check the link click on insert and you can see here common button and you can see it says active x control this code will only works if you select this common button active x control common button select that and draw your button so this is the common button and now i don't want to name it anything i'm going to add a code so that the button will move around again right click on the sheet one and click on view code and write the code you can see there are two options here the first part is this part and here i'm going to float the button but i'm going to keep it in a fixed position okay we can determine the position by changing this number if i close this and click on the design mode to deactivate it so design mode is deactivated now if i click on any cell and you can see the button is in this position it is not moving but if i scroll down so you can see now the button is not there but if i click here it is in the same position okay the button will be in the same position but whenever you click on a certain cell after you scroll it will reappear but the position will be same now if you want to move this button just like we have moved the shape based on our active cell so i want to move this button along with my mouse cursor so right click there view code and in the code list i have written and another code you just remove the comment if you write single code before a line in vba it turns into a comment okay so i'm deleting the upper part and this is the 
new line that I activate and here we can see the code most likely the same with our shape so if I close it here and you can see if I click here you can see the button is floating based on the selection I am doing okay and you can assign macro to all these button and they will work also so this is how you can float buttons in Microsoft Excel this is what I wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial and thank you everyone we just achieved 10,000 subscribers without your support it won't be possible for me thank you very much for that see you in the next tutorial